So welcome back and today's video will be on how to easily make a smoke bomb at home with household items. And these are the things you will need. So just start off by tearing off a piece of aluminium foil about a foot by a foot in size. So then you're just going to need to get your foil and lay it flat down on the table. Then just get your ping pong ball and just wrap the tin foil up around it. Once this is done you're just going to need to get your pen and just stick it down on top of the ping pong ball and then just wrap the tin foil up around the pen. You're going to need to make sure that you squeeze the foil tightly around the pen. Then with the pen still in place you're just going to need to wrap another layer of tin foil up around the pen. You can then take the pen out of the tin foil. After this you can just place the smoke bomb where you want to light it. Then just simply put a match or a lighter underneath it until you start seeing smoke coming out. So when you start seeing smoke coming out you can just stand back and enjoy the action and try not to breathe in any of the toxic smoke. The reason these little ping pong balls create so much smoke is because they're made up of a plastic like material called celluloid, which contains the explosive chemical nitrocellulose. So if you're a subscriber or you watched any of my other videos, you probably noticed that the audio in this video is extremely weird and that's because um, this video, um, the audio in this video was actually recorded with a, an external mic, not the mic on the camera. And that is because uh, the mic on the camera that I was using to record this video, uh, which is not my own camera, uh, the mic anyways was uh, pretty shitty, like the quality was really bad. So I decided to uh, use the uh, uh, mic that I had. And uh, you know the quality isn't the best on it, but uh, it sure did the job and um, yeah. So um, next time I should have my own camera back and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, see you till next time.